in the happening south. That's right, and I am here with one of New Zealand's finest R&B voices in the land by way of Fiji, Miss Erica. And I am with the most amazing GQ Samoan model himself, Mr. R&B, Zanel Lewis. Thank you, yes, and we have been given the lovely opportunity of bringing you this week's fresh episode right here in the heart of South Auckland, Manu Rewa. Coming up on Fresh for you today. Sometimes you haven't got paid because you have the fortnightly payments. That's why you always schedule your first date mm. on a Thursday. Ah, oh, see, Friday. payday. I do. Um, shave my bag. It's very hard. I only get to the top and then the rest of the hair is like a cape <laughs> and I can fly like a, a, a Batman. Woo, welcome back, Freshies. I'm in beautiful South Auckland. I am Erica and I'm hosting Fresh this morning with my fly brother, Donnell Lewis. Check out a slice of his world. What up, Fresh? I'm Donnell Lewis, and here's a slice of my world. So here, right here, is where all the magic starts. <laughs> this used to be where I would record like all the demos and then I'd take it into studio and then lace the real thing. But thanks to technology now, I can pretty much do the whole thing here. It's boom, boom, boom. That's how it went. Mm, 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 mm. I was like, what could, what else could, we been together for some time. The whole time I was just thinking of like, what's a song that, you know, like, no one could really hate on. Everyone would think about whoever their last ex was. And that's how I ended up became like, what, like number five <laughs> on the charts? That was real cool. Let's go. Hey. I was always like, I can make beats. I always like doing all that. I'm real creative in studio. But performance wise, I was always real scared and real like, I was never really, you know, too out there. So I always used to like take things like drama in school and I didn't care what my friends said because all my friends were really into sports and stuff. Everybody saying, Donnie, you the man. I put my girl on the track because I can't. It was in Cannons Creek, which is Pararua. And then I moved up with my mom when I was about five. And then when I went from Pepitoi to North Shore, it was just, yeah, culture shock. It was a massive culture shock. It was like a whole lot of more white and Asian people. And I kind of had to change it. And then I started picking up music. Always beatboxing to every single song that used to come on. And I try and imitate every, every beat that would come on. I remember my grandma always being like, eh. What is that? Sometimes I would think of drums or melodies and I'd always try and like do it every minute because I didn't have like a sound recorder or something. Or it wasn't on my phone because now I can do it on my iPhone. Mm. R&B was always huge for me. For reassurance in the beginning, you kind of like believe that it's going to happen. And when it does happen, then you're like, Cool, let's you know keep going, get the ball rolling and keep it rolling. So that was always my main thing. It was never whether it was gonna be a success, it was always what am I gonna do after that? Because I think that's the most important thing. week's tip is all the hairstyles appropriate for church. Yes, well, we all come in the different shapes and sizes. Now, we're all born with hair. Sometimes we choose not to have hair. Now, you can do an expression style. You can do a thing like a mohawk or a thing like a fresh prince. But remember, it's not a time machine. We're not stuck in a 1990. Okay? The best thing to do is whatever style you got, keep a tidy place for church, but you can't walk in with a Rihanna and expect everybody to like it. So the best thing for a girl is keep your hair out, but keep it comb, or tie it up in a pan and make a tidy and look nice with a pultazzi. If you happen to have a thing that's very difficult, like a treadlock, try not to wear it out and scare everybody look like an octopus, tie it up and make a tidy things. And when the church is finished, you can go back to do the pop Mali. Now, for the old people, listen carefully to this poem. Don't promote the hair if it's not there. This thing that crawl one side and glue over the top is called comb over. Because when the wind blow, it blow it over. And then you look like you're walking around with a flap. Okay? Don't do this thing. 
when the preacher's doing the sermon and you're coming in light and you walk in and you sit down and then the big tower on top of your head is a disrespect because some people can't see and then they're trying to look over your soda and over your pan because you're casting a big shadow. Just remember, it's all about respect for the church, respect for God. You can't walk in there with a scraggly, ugly here. If you've got a man bun, please tie it up and tell it back and make sure your beard is tidy and smooth and all the girls is like to you. That's the end of my tip. Tune in next week for more Island Tip. Thank you. After oh, the break to him of this guy. Oh, yeah. And so, this yeah. guy. Elevator Come on, jam. pick me up. <laughs> you are beautiful. That was, that was enough. Sure mm. Stay tuned. <laughs>
flawless victory. Hey, um, Erica, what's the best tip your parents gave you? Um, put your undies on before you put your pants on. <laughs> put water in the jug before you boil it. Now, what my mum really said is if you don't have nothing nice to say, do not say it at all. What about you, bro? Um, my parents were really hot on tips. I think they were more, they kind of just led by example, eh? Here's more fresh tips. Everyone remembers the first love, man. But you can never forget your first date. So here are some tips and tricks to getting the best first date. First date, where do you go? How much money do you have? It's all about budget, man. Sometimes you haven't got paid because you have the fortnightly payments. That's why you always schedule your first date mm. on a Thursday oh, or see, Friday. Payday, payday. Now, where are you going to take her on a first date? Two options here, movies and Denny's. <laughs> You got no money, man. That's why you go Denny's. Do you sit next to each other or do you sit oh, opposite? You gotta sit across. Oh. Opposite each other. You're sitting there, you're seated in. Would you like a menu? Just one menu. Oh. Is okay. he gonna like this? Now you choose first. The menu is like this. <laughs> um, entrees in the beginning, the mains, and then desserts. I think you only got a budget of $20. You stick with the first side, because you tell her you're going somewhere else after. You're not going anywhere after. <laughs> I know it's all right, I already know what I want. Can I have a sampler? And do you want a raspberry Coke? Or... And two raspberry Cokes, thank you. How do you start a conversation? Oh, it's about them. Always about them. But you have to insert yourself there at every opportunity. You just got to find your gap and insert yourself straight in there. What are you going to ask him? So how was your day today? How was work? Go get all that stuff. Blah, blah, blah. You're not even listening to her answers, but blah, blah, blah. And then you say, do you play any sport? Oh, because then that links back to you. Back to you, see? Back to you. Thinking, man. Oh, do you play rugby? Me? Yeah, you? Yeah, 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 I used to play. See? Do you know Richie McCall? I used to play against him back in the day. Oh. I used to make mincemeat of him. <laughs> you never played before in your no, life. Never. All of a sudden, you played sevens. Yeah, sevens, sevens for Samoa. The development squad for New Zealand, but... Always good to say development squad. Yep, development because anyone can make development <laughs> Say, or oh, what do you like to do outside of work? Oh, I like to socialise and oh, maybe yeah. dance. Oh! oh. <laughs> do you dance? <laughs> no, I just when I go out with my friends. Do you know Periscope? <laughs> Name dropping oh, that's the is best, the yeah. best. The food comes out. Let her have it. Oh. Hey. Just go, j help yourself. You're starving as hell. Yeah, it's not about so you and your stomach, man. Make sure you pay the bill, man. Mm. Pay it on your card. Oh, make sure she sees your card yeah. come out because it's going to have that shiny visa thing on it. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, is it pay or chip? Chip, OK. But then what happens? Uh, excuse me, sir, but um, you've been declined. Oh, sorry. That's the wrong account. <laughs> Can you try savings? Coming up next, after the break, we got Auntie Tala, Miss Fike Akala. Tone. <laughs> See you after the break. Get up. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> now I know you look at me and you think, wow, because I look like a supermodel, that I can just fix anything? Well, even Beyonce had her backup singers, and today I've got an amazing backup panel. Sir, Ot, Salt. Hey, you eat it all the pizza. I promise, I did it. You did. I saw it with my own two eyes. Hey, shh! All pizza. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Hello, welcome back to Fresh. My name is Don Al Lewis, and it is now time to check out our favorite auntie, Auntie Tala, by Kakala. Tala, 
Alpha and Aloha, and welcome to another episode of Tau Tala Tala, where we help you with your problems. Now, I know you look at me and you think, wow, because I look like a supermodel, then I can just fix anything? Well, even Beyonce had her backup singers, and today I've got an amazing backup panel. There's the punching power of my favorite boxer, the brown butterfly. <laughs> And we also got one of New Zealand's finest hop hop uh, rappers. Please give it up for KY. Woohoo! And also another very popular musician and one of our favorite bands back in the days, Nishin Magic. Nishin Magic, we have Donald McRuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is where we have our cameraman come and see you. You ask us questions about anything in life and our panel will help solve your problems. Let's go to our question and see how we can help you. Hi, Auntie Tala. A poly boy is getting too vain. Plucking their eyebrows, shaving their legs, sometimes the owl owls. What's going on here? Wow, that's a good question, eh? Do you notice that a lot of poly boys are getting more vain? What, what, what do you think, K1? I, I feel like it was directed towards me when she was talking. It was like she was talking to me. Well, you know, I'm no stranger to a bit of, bit of hair gel, a bit of mousse. <laughs> that was a man. <laughs> 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 what about you, Brown Butterbean? What are your thoughts about this? Is it true? I, th I don't think there's anything wrong with being vain. You know, the Butterbean is uh, a very confident man. And, uh, you know, if you can't love yourself, how can you expect anyone else to, so... Oh, wow! So great! What, what about you, Don? What are you reckon? Do you shave your legs and, and I haven't shaved or cut my hair in months, so, yeah. Hmm. So it's not true? Not, not all island boys are vain, eh? I don't know, the whole shaving thing, I'm not really a hairy person, so I, you know, I kind of appreciate, maybe if I was hairy then, I'd probably want to shave it off, because, you know, it's great being smooth, you see? You yeah. touch that. Wow, yeah, whoa. Oh, wow. Nice thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about, do you go as far as shaving your back or waxing? I know I do, um, shave my back. It's very hard. I only get to the top and then the rest of the hair is like a cape <laughs> and I can fly like a, a, a Batman. Yeah, so it's very hard. Do you go as far as that? Is that too vain or is that okay? I don't know, you know, it's a personal thing. So, you know, oh, yeah. uh, like I said, I'm no stranger to a bit of manscaping. So oh, there's nothing yeah. wrong with that because I don't have any, I, I, don't, I don't have any hair on my legs to work. So I don't have any, yeah. I can't even grow a beard. So, you know, this, wow. any hair that I do have, I like to take proper care of it. What about you, bro? Because I know you, you were in the ring, you were puffed through, you are showing your whole upper body. Do you whack your back? No, you... it's just naturally, just, it's perfect. Naturally yeah. falls yeah. off or? Yeah. Just smooth. Just smooth? Just smooth like me. All right, <laughs> wow. This is great, guys. Now, in one sentence, what would you like to say to Jack about what he asked? You guys. Jack, the Butterbean says to this question, no, the poly boys aren't getting too vain because the Butterbean believes it's good to be vain. Uh, Jack, I'd, I'd just like to say it's okay, you know? It's okay to wax, it's okay to put a bit of gel in your hair, it's okay to look good. And uh, a bit of advice, you know, make sure that every selfie is worthy of a profile picture. Well, Donald, so what would you like to say to Jack about what he asked? Uh, well, Jack, I think, um, yes, poly boys can be vain if you're spending that much money on a phone and they've got cool filters and everything. Use it. Why not? Well, there you have it from our panel. I think for you, Jack, my only advice is it's important that you know the difference between vain and confident. Sometimes you get so vain, you look in the mirror, you think you see something else, but everyone else can see you a monster. It's okay to be vain. Like my calves, I got very <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, that's all we have time for today. Let's give a big thanks to you to our panel. Thanks, guys. Brown got a big channel and gay fries. We are really looking forward to seeing you same time, same place next time on Tao Tala Tala. Bye. Bye.
My name is Kali Mila. Here in Hawaii, I have the privilege of being here in Hawaii because of a Creative New Zealand Fulbright Pacific Creative Writing Residency. One of my favourite places in Hawaii is Native Books. It's called Namia Books, Namia Hawaii. And when you go in there, it's just filled with books and thoughts and creative writings and intellectual writings from around the Pacific. There's just something so beautiful about Hawaii. And if you're Pacific and you're from Aotearoa, when you come here, there's such strong familiarity, a remembering. And you know you're a distant cousin to this place. And when you come here, the Hawaiians don't make you feel like distant cousins. They make you feel like family. And that is what is so special, truly. That's the photo box. Hello, Mila. <laughs> Keeping it fresh. <laughs> At Makaha Beach in Hawaii. Come on, David. That's it for us, fishies. Make sure you tune in next week. <laughs>